Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That. Today we are making a DIY enamel keychain. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you require fabrication, prototyping, PCB etching, PCBWay have got you covered. They offer a huge range of services, low volume orders, and fast turnaround times. And if you're looking for some project ideas, head over to the community project section to see some of the amazing things made with PCBWay services. Check out PCBWay.com today. We begin by coating an aluminium sheet in a photopolymer etch resist. This will allow us to expose our image or text on the metal and mask off the other areas so they do not get etched. This is light sensitive so be sure to coat your metal and let it dry in a dark room. Once exposed, you can develop your image with some hot water mixed with soda crystals. This should take a few minutes to develop and you can use a soft brush to help speed up the development process. I'm covering the back of the plate with adhesive vinyl and I just made sure my wire is in contact with the back of the plate when I stick it down. I'm using silicone sealant to seal and hold the wire in place. The electro etching requires warm water and salt solution, and I'm using a benchtop power supply. Batteries can be used, but they're not as reliable compared to a dedicated power supply. Attach your positive wire to the plate you want to etch and a negative wire to a sacrificial stainless steel plate. Set your power supply to approximately two volts and leave it in there for a few hours to etch. You should see some bubbling at the plate, which is the etching process taking place. You can see after a few hours, I have a deep etch of my logo in the aluminium plate. To clean off the etch resist, just use some warm water and a soda crystal solution. A quick sanding with some 600 grit paper will clean it up. You can see some blemishes on the surface of my keychain. I think this is caused from too thin of a layer of etch resist. I think next time I will apply a second coating after it has dried. You want to use enamel paint and a needle to infill your design. Make sure that you've got real enamel paint and not the acrylic kind. You're going to need to let this dry and harden overnight. Now I'm using my CNC to cut around the edges, but this could be done with a hacksaw and some sanding. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Now I'm just making a small hole for the keychain ring and that's pretty much it, it's finished. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you'd like to know more information about the process, feel free to put any comments below. But that is it for now, I'll catch you all soon.